Hello, 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 and welcome. My name is Alan, and today we are doing more notable people from the Mountain Empire region. This very rural section of the Appalachians. Today we will again be talking about two towns. This time we will talk about Clintwood, Virginia's notable people and a more populous area, one of the more populous areas in the region, Pikeville, Kentucky's notable people. So with that, let's hop into this. Um, Clintwood, Virginia. Again, I'll be just using um, Wikipedia. It's just a quick way for me to look up some of the notable names. And excuse me for picking my teeth. But I just ate lunch, and for some reason it's not... <laughs> it's not wanting to go down the throat. It's just stuck in the teeth. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's hop into this. Um, From Clintwood, first person we're going to look at is a person named Mark Linkus. Uh, apparently he is an American singer and songwriter and musician. He is best known for being the leader of a band called Sparkle Horse. Uh, he's done collaborations with people like Tom Waits, PJ Harvey, Daniel Johnston, Radiohead, Black Francis, Julian Casablancas, Nina Person. So apparently he has family ties to Clintwood. They have him listed as being from Clintwood. Um, so Mark Linkus. The next person we're going to look at is Justin Hamilton. He is a former uh, football star, defensive back, or former football star at Clintwood. He was a defensive back for the Virginia Tech Hokies and a former member of the Cleveland Browns and the Washington Redskins while in the NFL. He now serves as the defensive coordinator for the Virginia Tech Hokies, replacing uh, uh, Bud Foster. So yeah, Justin Hamilton is from the area, which I remember hearing about him and uh, hearing about him when he was in high school. So yeah. 2006, he was, let me see this again, he was drafted in 2006, okay, so he for, played Virginia Tech, played in Virginia Tech about 2005, 2004, probably 2003, so he wasn't too long after I graduated high school, but yeah, so we had people like Thomas and Julius Jones. There's Justin Hamilton. We have a few athletes from the area. Um, Jason Witten of the Cowboys was from a nearby town, too. We'll have to get into that when we talk about his hometown. A bluegrass musician, Ralph Stanley, is from Clintwood. Um, he was part of the Stanley Brothers and began playing music in 1946. He's um, a huge bluegrass musician. And he's one of the few people you see around, or at least I've seen around before. Since, for me, Clintwood is literally the next town over, 
So I've, I've seen Ralph Stanley before. Out and about. And the last person we're going to talk about from Clintwood is Americana Indie Appalachian Band Fodder Shock. Um, yeah, it, it's, which is apparently a two-person group, um, W.V. Hill and A.K. Mullins. So that is what they had on Clintwood, Virginia, which is uh, uh, actually called Virginia's Baby. It's supposed to be the youngest county in the state, so. It, it well, not Clintwood, Dickinson County. It, the county it's in is called Virginia's Baby. Um... Because Dickinson County is the youngest county in the state, and Clintwood's in Dickinson County. There we go. Cleared it up. The other town we're going to talk about, we have a quite a few people that are well-known from Pikeville, Kentucky. So let's kind of get into that. All right. First person we're going to talk about is a John Paul Riddle. He's a self-taught aviator and co-founder of the Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. He's best known for training Allied air crews in World War II. Next person we're going to talk about, Woody T. Blackburn. He is an American former professional golfer who played on the PGA Tour in the 70s, 1970s, and the 1980s. He's from Pikeville. The next person we're going to talk about is Natasha Cornett. Natasha Wallen Cornett, an American criminal currently serving a sentence of life without parole at the Tennessee prison for women in Nashville for her involvement in the Lilith, Lilid murders. Lilith, Lilid murders. What are the Lilid murders? Criminal case in Greene County, Tennessee where three members of the Lillilid family were murdered on April the 6th, 1997. Uh, do, 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 do. They were shot on a deserted rural road near Greenville during a carjacking committed by a group of youths. Uh, two, two, two. Six young people from Kentucky, including two minors, were convicted of felony murder for the deaths of the Lillilids, with all six perpetrators serving three life sentences. An additional 25 years for the attempted murder of one of the little lid family. So again, that was Natasha Cornett. The next person we're going to talk about is Robert Douglas Dameron, an American professional golfer who has played on the PGA Tour uh, he is currently a studio analyst for the Golf Channel. He's from Pikeville. 
Next person is Murray Garvin. Uh, the current college basketball head coach for South Carolina State University men's basketball team. He's from Pikeville, Kentucky. The next person we're going to talk about is Patty Loveless. Uh, her actual name, Patricia Lee Ramey. But known as Patty Loveless, she's an American country music musician. Um, she's from Pikeville, Kentucky. Next person we're going to talk about is John W. Langley. He was a U.S. representative from Kentucky. Uh, do, do, do. Do we have anything else about Mr. Langley here? Let me open open up his profile here to get a better look. Uh, in office from March the 4th, 1907 to January the 11th, 1926. He was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives from Kentucky's 10th District. His wife uh, apparently was also an American politician, so. But yes, John W. Langley. Next person we're going to talk about is his wife, Catherine Emmeline Gudger Langley. She was an American politician and was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, from Kentucky, representing the 70th and 70 in the 70th and 71st sessions of Congress. So she was also a representative. Where did she represent in Kentucky? John represented the 10th district. Where did Catherine represent? She also represented the 10th district right after he did, because he represented until 26. She was in office from 1927 till March of 1931. Okay. Let's see, January the 11th, 1926, March the 4th, 1927, that's when his term ended and hers began, the person in between them was uh, a person named Andrew Jackson Kirk, who served for, it looks like, just that one term. Okay. Next person we're going to talk about. Jerry Lane. He is an umpire in Major League Baseball who has worked in the National League between 1989 and 1999 and throughout both Major Leagues since 2000. He wore uniform number 24 in the NL, but when the Major League Baseball merged the AL and NL umpiring staffs in 2000, that number changed. So yeah, he's a Major League Baseball umpire, Jerry Lane. He's from Pikeville. Next person we're going to talk about, everybody will probably know. His name is Randolph Randall McCoy. If you don't know who that is, that is the patriarch of the McCoy family during the Hat 
Hatfield McCoy feud. The most famous Appalachian feud in history, in American history. He was the patriarch of the McCoy side. That's right. They were from Pikeville, and they feuded with the Hatfields, who were just across the Kentucky-West Virginia border, in Logan, West Virginia. So yeah, Randolph Randall McCoy. Or O. Randall. So that's probably the most famous of the people from Pikeville. Next person is Mark Reynolds. He is a baseball player for the Colorado Rockies. Uh, an infielder. Now he's currently a free agent, it says. Um, he played for the Diamondbacks, the Orioles, the Indians, the Yankees, the Brewers, the Cardinals, the Nationals, the Rockies. So he's kind of been all over the place. Mark Andrew Reynolds, but he's from Pikeville, Kentucky. Next person we're going to talk about is Shanda Scharer. She was an American girl who was tortured and burned to death in Madison, Indiana by four teenage girls. She was 12 year old at the time of her death, and the incident attracted international attention due to both the brutality of the murder and the young age of the perpetrators. So yeah, Shanda Shar, Shar or Sher? Um, it's spelled like Sherer, but I'm not sure if that's necessarily the pronunciation. Anyway, next person we're going to talk about is Jack Smith. He's a retired. American professional baseball player and was a right-handed pitcher who worked 34 games for the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers between 1962 and 1964. So, yeah. Jack Hatfield-Smith. <clears throat> Next person we're going to talk about is Effie Waller Smith, an African American poet of the early 20th century. Her published output consisted of three volumes of poetry Songs of the Month, 1904. Rhymes from the Cumberland, 1904, and Rosemary and Pansies, 1909. Her poetry appeared in publications such as Harper's Weekly and, I'm assuming that's Variety magazines? So, yeah. Effie Waller Smith. Next person we want to look at is Preston Spradlin, an American League basketball coach and the current head coach for the Moorhead State Eagles men's basketball team. Preston Spradlin, he's from Pikeville, Kentucky. Next person we're going to look at is Johnny Venters, who is an American professional baseball relief pitcher who is currently a free agent. 
and has played for the Tampa Bay Rays, the Atlanta Braves, and the Washington Nationals. He's from Pikeville. Next person we're going to look at is Dwight David Yoakum. Dwight Yoakum is an American uh, singer, songwriter, musician, and actor known for his pioneer style country music. He first became popular in the mid 1980s, and Yoakum has recorded more than 20 albums and compliment. Comp Relations, charted more than 30 singles on the billboard. Let's go ahead and open that up here and look at them a little more in depth here. Yeah, I remember both Patty Loveless, who we mentioned earlier, and Dwight Yoakam. Uh, <coughs> they were large country acts when I was still a kid and it got into my um, teens. So, yeah. <clears throat> On the Billboard Hot Country Songs charts and sold more than 25 million records. He has recorded five Billboard number one albums, 12 gold albums, and nine platinum albums, including the triple platinum album This Time. All right, my stomach trying to handle that food I ate. In addition to his many achievements in the performing arts, he is also the most frequent musical guest in the history of The Tonight Show. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to look at a few of his major songs. Guitars and Cadillacs. Honky Tonk Man. Um, Streets of Bakersfield. Turn Me Loose. Oh, turn it on, turn it up, turn me loose, yeah. Ain't that lonely yet. Miner's Prayer. I remember Pocket of a Clown. In the pocket of a clown. Thousand miles from nowhere. Same old train. Cover of Queen is a crazy little thing called love. Studio albums, cover albums, Christmas albums, compilation albums, international releases. And he's... Known for a lot of uh, films as well. Let's see. There it is. Sling Blade. He played Doyle Hargraves. You also, th also usually think of Sling Blade as the movie Billy Bob Thornton's in Mustard Biscuits. Well, Dwight Ye Yoakam was also in that. Uh, do, 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 do. Other movies with notable roles. Panic Room. Uh, he played Raul. Wedding Crashers. He was Mr. Kroger. Uh, do, 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 do. Frank, he was Doc Miles. 
Well, I can really see. He's also been on television for a number of rows. He was in King of the Hill playing Lane Prattley. Oh, yeah, Dwight Yoakam. He's from Pikeville, Kentucky, as well. <clears throat> The last person they have on here is Harmeet Kaur, who is a journalist at CNN. Although there's no link to him or anything, so. so I can't really confirm anything. But that was also Pikeville, Kentucky. So, like I said, we covered notable people from Clintwood, Virginia, and Pikeville, Kentucky. Ah, but as always, educate thyself, think, read, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something and you're a bit wary of, ask them to cite sources. We need to start being able to back up what we say. Really, really do. As always, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.